This video is brought to you by Squarespace. About two weeks ago, we compared the iPhone 10 to the Galaxy Note 9, and based on the number of views, you guys loved it. But there was one issue. The iPhone 10 was already around nine months old when the Note 9 just came out. So a lot of you said it wasn't a fair comparison. So this time, we've got the iPhone 10s Max. In the last test, the Note 9's massive screen was its biggest advantage, along with the fact that it just got released. But with the iPhone XS Max, everything changed. So let's get right into Fortnite. All right, so as you guys can see, we're here in game on the iPhone XS Max. We're at 100% battery life. Brightness is all the way up. Auto brightness is off. Do not disturb is on. Bluetooth is off. And if I can get that there, there you go. There's no other apps open just Fortnite, so let's go ahead and get into the game. All right guys, so one thing I gotta say is that this screen is absolutely huge. You really can't appreciate it until you actually get one of these yourself and start using it. I came from the iPhone 8 Plus and this is so much bigger, like I can't even explain it to you guys. You guys have to get your hands on one and actually test it out. Like, let me show you, this is the iPhone 10. The screen is so much bigger. All right, let's do this. Wow, that was incredibly smooth. I don't think I got any drop frames at all. Now, one thing I've noticed is that the speakers sound so good and crisp, almost like you can hear everybody around you. Wow, this gun sucks, oh my goodness. What is this junk? Woo! All right, two down. Someone's gotta be up here somewhere. What is this? Are you joking me? Just nine more players. Got him. Got him. One left. Ah! I did not see that guy. Well, that's it. Place number two. So one thing that's awesome about the 10S Max is that the, the notch is actually quite a bit smaller than the 10S. That's not really true, but based on the screen size, it does look smaller. That's what's really nice. It doesn't cover up as much screen real estate as on the iPhone XS. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes that I've been playing on the XS Max. Let's check out the battery life. 87%, it's actually not bad. Playing 45 minutes, maxed out at 100% brightness. One thing I noticed is that the display seems a bit brighter than the 10. I don't know if it's the XS Max itself or just the XS, but it does seem brighter. The colors look really good and I practically did not notice any drop frames at all. This is probably the best Fortnite gaming experience you can get on a mobile device. Now let's switch over to the Note 9. All right, here we are in game with the Note 9. I'll show you guys, we're at 100% brightness. Bluetooth is off. And I can show there are no other apps open, just Fortnite. And one thing that's interesting is that the Note 9's display is actually smaller. It's 6.4 inches but of course it does not have that notch. So let's get right into the game and see how the Note 9 compares. Actually, one thing I'm noticing here in the lobby is that I've turned the speakers all the way up and it sounds so much worse than the 10s Max. The 10s Max sounds so loud, crisp, and clear, and this just does not do it. Here we are, and seems like there's a tiny bit more frame drops when getting off of the bus. I don't know if it's just me, and also the screen looks a little bit more blue. I'm seeing some drop frames here. I'm not sure why. The connection's the same, same Wi-Fi, everything. I feel like I have to turn these speakers all the way up just to hear anything. Woo! Got him! Oh wow, yeah, that's a bunch of drop frames. Look at this, are you guys seeing these drop frames? Got him. 
Oh, that was two on one, doesn't count. So I don't know if it's just me, but the iPhone XS Max's screen seemed to be a bit brighter than the Note 9. Yeah, there's so many dropped frames. I don't understand this. The XS Max was pretty much perfect. Just let me get this guy. Oh, I knocked him down. Well, that's not enough, obviously. So one thing I forgot to do on the XS Max is to record the screen, so I'm gonna go ahead, hit game mode, and let's start recording and see how well this does while recording the screen, if it drops any frames or anything else. And obviously, I'm gonna go back to the XS Max and do the same. Well, so I just stopped recording right there, and as you guys saw, it was pretty smooth, but there was still dropped frames, just like there were before. So let's play a little bit more before we go back to the 10s Max and do the screen recording. Yeah, I don't know what that dude was doing, to be honest. What? A trap? All right guys, so we just hit that same 45 minutes of gameplay on the Note 9. Let's go ahead and check. Yeah, we've got 83 percent battery life. I don't know if you guys can see that. Not bad. I guess it's around the same as the iPhone XS Max. Not really any different. Pretty impressive for playing that much. So let's go ahead and switch to the XS Max and do some screen recording and see how smooth it is. Back on the iPhone XS Max and man, these speakers are seriously loud. You guys have got to admit, they're so much louder than the Note 9. So, let's go ahead and turn on Screen recording, just like that, and let's get into another game. So maybe I spoke too soon. The volume went down quite a bit when I started recording. Not sure why, but it's quite a bit quieter than it was when I wasn't recording. Okay, there's another drop, and it's very smooth. Very smooth as far as I can tell. But there is that volume issue where the volume gets cut down significantly while screen recording. Ooh, I've got to snipe this dude. Got him. So I just turned off recording and the volume goes right back up to where it was before. Very loud, very crisp and clear. So which phone is the winner? Before I answer that, let's talk about Squarespace. It's never been so easy to create your own website. There's a huge variety of templates to choose from, and it's so easy that I personally created this business site in no time. Just click to add basically anything from image galleries to buttons and e-commerce products, and then you can easily arrange them. So make it with Squarespace. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, Check out squarespace.com slash Apple Insider to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. All right guys, so I just finished playing on the Note 9 in the iPhone XS Max. And first off, I wanna say that I love the screen on the XS Max. It seems to be a little bit brighter than the Note 9. It's a little bit larger, but the colors are more saturated on the Note 9 and it looks a little bit better in game. However, the iPhone XS Max seems to look a little bit more natural, and I love True Tone, how it makes the screen look paper white, whereas the Note 9 looked a little bit too blue at times. Performance-wise, the XS Max was basically perfect all the time. We did notice quite a bit more dropped frames on the Note 9, that's for sure. Now let's talk about the speakers. The ones on the XS Max are so much louder, more crisp, more clear. The Note 9 just seems so quiet after playing with the XS Max. And on the Note 9, performance drops a tad bit while screen recording, but the speakers are fine. Now when we compare the iPhone X to the Note 9, it was a draw, despite the Note 9 being a newer device. This time, I've gotta give it to the iPhone XS Max for sure. It is definitely the better phone to get if you wanna play Fortnite. So thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe because we've got quite a bit more videos coming with the iPhone XS Max, especially the camera comparison coming very soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.